Hello everyone, welcome to this week's edition of Ground Zero where we showcase the best in citizen journalism. I'm Ethan and I'm Kenneth. This week we start off with bizarre incidents that revolve around violence. Violence? Mm. Hmm. Do you think that Singaporeans are inherently uh, violent people? Well, okay, no, but I think I'll leave it to you to decide after we, you know, have a look at these stories over here. First up, a stomper was slashed in the face and stabbed in the body by his girlfriend's ex-boyfriend in a confrontation at the Void Deck in Bedok North. They met after the jealous 19-year-old love rival set up the meeting on the pretense of wanting to return his mobile phone. The stomper had to endure a 7-day stay in the hospital nursing his injuries. When he went to the police station, he was shocked that the youth might only get a probational sentence as the attacker was only a 19-year-old student with no criminal record. He says that youngsters are nowadays getting out of hand going around with weapons, but they're not given harsh punishment. Well, Stompers have weighed in with their comments. Stomper Contemplation 32 was actually sympathetic to the attacker. He says, I think the law should protect teenagers as we are all fallible, right? It's the parents who never give teenagers enough care and concern. Thus, they have to seek all of these from their girlfriends or friends. But not all Stompers were so sympathetic. Some even felt that the victim caused his own misfortunes by dating a girl who was being stalked by a jealous ex-boyfriend. Stomper Fluffy Bruno said, Well, I guess let's learned the hard way, hawker boy. On the right side, the 19-year-old kid is going to have a black mark on his record, which would taint him for life. And yours is only on your face. Hopefully, this girl is worth it. Well, moving along to our next story, in an incredible case of road rage, a mother of three actually attacked a motorcyclist in full view of everyone. The incident happened on the 19th of June at about 4.30pm on Orchard Road. Stomper Chen, who sent in the story, explains, when I reached the scene, I saw a motorcyclist in a field female BMW driver arguing and taking photos of each other. There was a huge crowd, so I stood to the side. I'm not sure what happened to cause the fight, but after the female driver went back to her car, the motorcyclist took a photo of her. Then, the female driver rushed out of her car and hit the motorcyclist's face in public. The spectacles fell on the ground. The BMW driver also scolded the motorcyclist with vulgarities and kept insulting him. Security guards tried to put them apart. The worst part was that the female BMW driver had three kids in the car all of whom looked very young. Her eldest daughter even took a video of the incident. Was their mother being a good example in front of her kids? Mm. After some time, the police arrived. The police has issued a statement on the incident. Now, the police say they've received a call at about 4.40pm on June the 19th, informing them of a dispute that had broken out between a female driver and a male motorcyclist outside CK Tanks along Orchard Road. Upon arrival, it was established that a scuffle had broken out. The male motorcyclist had redness on his arm, while the female driver had redness on her arms and on her left cheek. Both parties have been advised on legal recourse. The worst part of this incident is that the children were in the car while their mom turned violent. What sort of example is she setting? Well, I agree and it is not just us who feel that way. Stompers too are suitably disgusted by her behaviour. Stomper Mr. Panjana wrote, Thanks to your actions, they will now be thinking that using the fist to settle the problem is going to work. Stomper Snooky51 on the other hand feels that this incident is a symptom of our lacking in moral education. She said, an example of our moral education had obviously failed badly. Not at all to see our girls getting more and more vicious and violent nowadays. You know, it's something that we can all anticipate. Yeah, I think so. Our last incident for this clip involves a fight in Club Key between a Caucasian foreigner and a local man on 10th June at around midnight. Foo Fighter relates the incident. The foreigner had earlier smashed what seemed to be a beer bottle on the road but after all that drama, it turned out to be not so much of a fight, just some shouting, cursing, a bit of taunting. Just what you can expect when young people have a little bit too much to drink and don't want to lose face in front of their girls, especially when they have spectators around watching them. There are always fights like this at Clarky. These people should just take a chill pill. If you look at the video, I didn't think there was a serious punch thrown at all. Not it at was all. mostly a scuffle. Yeah. Stomper Shui Pui agrees to says, That's not a fight! There's just some adults using swear words and pushing each other around. Anyway, I believe to take two hands to clap, and had the girl been unwilling, there would be nothing the other guy could have done. I actually agree with the Stomper. In a place like Clarky, where you know everyone's just out to have a good time and have a few drinks, you never know when someone could have one drink too many. And turn cheeky or worse, violent. 
One stomper, Toffee O1, had a very bleak view of Clark Key. He says, it's a stupid place to be at, even for barding. Anything can go wrong. Rape, petty crimes, car accident, murder. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think it's that bad, <laughs> la, okay? But Clark Key can be a very nice place to hang out with your friends. So long as, you know, nothing really bad happens. Just use your common sense, you'll stay out of trouble. Anyway, that's all we have for this clip. In our next clip, we look at how bills can really shock you.